Hi, Bookish Bell. Tiffany here. Um, and I know it's been a few weeks since my last review. And honestly, I haven't really been reading much. I've been rereading a lot. I reread the first three Vampire Academy. And I attempted to reread Twilight. But all that got interrupted because I bought Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Fun fact, when I first started reading this, it was back when school was in session. And the past, like, the last couple days, my sister was studying for her finals. And I'd go in there and, like, pick it up and, like, read a couple chapters and then put it back. Because we couldn't check out any more books. Um... And I've been waiting for the town I live in for their library to get it, but um, it took too long, so I just kind of bought it. I'm not a huge fan of dystopian novels, I've come to learn. A lot of them are just a lot alike. Um, you might like remember me saying I wasn't thrilled by The Hunger Games, and that's still really true. I mean, I like a couple that I've read, you know, the ones I read in school, and then I really, really love Uglies. And Divergent, I actually like Divergent way better than The Hunger Games, and way better than Legend. I did like Cinder a lot, though. Yay dystopian novels. But anyway, and Delirium is just newest on the trend. Well, not newest, but it's on the trend of all the dystopian novels that are really big right now for young adults. It's about Lena Holloway, and she lives in this dystopian world where love is a disease, and everyone's cured, and they're separated into the cured and the uncured. And once you reach 18, you get the procedure, which is kind of like a lobotomy, to cure you of love, and everyone's kind of just in a daze after that. They don't feel love or pain, or and they don't question authority, and they live like the world is fenced in, well, the United States is fenced in, and all the cities and stuff are fenced in, and they're told that they're surrounded by electric fences, and you can't get out, and Lena, of course, falls in love, and joins the resistance, because it's a dystopian novel. If you weren't expecting that, then you don't know your genre. Some highlights of this book is a vivid, beautiful imagery. Lauren Oliver really knows how to write a sentence. Like, wow. Downside to that is it's just a lot of floaty words and sentences and imagery and not much actually feels like it's happening. It's very boring, very slow. It lags a lot. I'd much rather read some of her other books, like If I Stay. That's her, right? Yeah. And one's not so much trying to, like, set up a world like Delirium is. I'd much rather read some contemporary by her. I think she has the voice for that. Not that she doesn't have the voice for dystopian. It's just I think that would have flowed better and been less distracting from the story. Because I felt no attachment to any of the characters, not even Lena. So, and especially not Alex and her attraction to him. I was just like, really? Is this just because he's the only guy? Because I, I kept feeling that. One thing I noticed, though, uh, really a lot like Uglies. I mean, I guess you can parallel all dystopian series, but, like, you know, you've got the uglies and the pretties, the cured and the uncured. You've got the people in the city and then the people outside of it that aren't supposed to exist, you know, the rusties, the smokies, the invalids. And then, like, re like they reach a certain age and they get the procedure and then it makes their mind all bubbly, all hazy, hazy, uh, just a lot like Uglies with that. I half expected her to give herself up for the procedure at the end like Tally does in Uglies. Spoiler alert. Sorry. It's pretty old. You haven't read it. Um, yeah, you should. If I had to rank this with my dystopian novels, I would put it under Divergent. Uh, probably about... Under The Hunger Games, the first one, but probably on the same level as Catching Fire and Legend. Under Cinder, probably. I'm not sure. I haven't read Scarlet, so I don't know about my Cinder fields yet. Really, it didn't get very interesting until the very, very, very end. If I have to be completely honest. Um, I don't like her friend Hannah. Just like I didn't like Shay and Uglies. So I was just kind of like, eh. And I didn't like any of her family, which we're not supposed to, except for Grace. We're supposed to like Grace. I mean. Uh, Lauren Oliver did a really good job of conveying those feelings of how detached Lena is from everyone because how she was taught not to be attached. Um, even the twist with her mother wasn't much of a surprise or a twist. It was just like, oh, okay. Like, I feel like the way, just the way she writes has a lot to do with how detached I feel from, like, everything that happens in the story. Um, I really do want to read the next one, because I, I, I do want to know what happens with Alex and all that. So, I mean, I will stick to the series. It's just not a top priority. It's like reading the sequel to Legend. I'll get around to it someday. 
So overall on Goodreads, I gave it 4 out of 5 stars, but it would probably be like 4.5, because I mean, like it is well written, it's just, I'm really out of dystopian. The book is really poofy. Um, I don't really know why I bought it this way. So yeah. Woo.